Welcome back to the 7 on 8. We are introducing another new segment on this Monday called Watching the Skies with Emily Skydema. Emily's with us every Monday, of course, and with a last name like that, you just can't ignore the stargazing <laughs> and the planets in the night sky that we can take advantage of and check out. Yeah, sky to my yeah. sky. It right. kind of goes together. It, a thousand percent And does. there's a lot of cool things that we can see. Now, I need to preface this whole thing by saying there's something really cool happening tomorrow morning. And unfortunately, we have some snow and some clouds in the forecast still. This is happening all across North America. So if you know someone who loves to look at the night sky, even if they're not here, tell them to look up. So this is what's happening early tomorrow morning. The moon is going to occult Mars. That means the moon is basically going to cover Mars. Mars is going to disappear behind the moon. So Mars here will disappear behind the lit side of the moon at 7.12 a.m. That's just before sunrise tomorrow morning. And then it reappears on the dark side of the moon at 8.38. So it's going to be behind the moon for an over an hour. Now the West Coast would be able to see this with the naked eye just because it's going to be darker for them. For us, you would need a telescope. You would want to look to the south, but again, unfortunately in this case, it is looking pretty cloudy tomorrow morning. So early Wednesday morning, we have a better chance of seeing clearer conditions. At that point, the crescent moon will be close to Jupiter. Jupiter is going to be off to the moon's left, so you can look to the southeast at dawn. And if you miss out on that one, early Thursday morning, the moon is going to be just to the lower right side of Saturn. You'll still be able to see Jupiter as well. With that one as well, you'll want to look to the southeast at dawn. A lot of cool things happening in the night sky, always, in my opinion, yeah. but some cool things this week. Again, sometimes it's cloudy, so it's difficult. Something really neat happening tomorrow morning. But if you know someone who likes yeah. to look at the night sky, let them know what's happening. I have friends up north who keep a telescope out oh, okay. at all times mm -hmm. just to have it ready. So I know there's got to be people out there who will appreciate yeah, this. Yeah, there are. There are right. observatories locally. There are yeah. those dark sky parks. So we'll keep this up every Monday and let you know what you can see on some nights that aren't so cloudy. Love too. it. <laughs> all right, Emily, thank you.